Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is I, Old School Old Fool, here to proudly present to you six months plus in the making, 25 episodes of MFW TV later. Tonight it is MFW Mega Mania. An extra-large edition of the show, jam-packed to the brim with matches that help tell the stories of the past six months. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready to see how this all unfurls. Um, so quick, we're going to recap the card, and then we are going to go to action. Um... A little extra tidbit here in the in the recap of the card is that I will have the uh, the entry numbers for the Grateful Eight Tag Rumble in here as well. So as you can see on the screen, our, we have a starting six-person tag match: Hippie Joe t or King Hippie Joe, I should say. Tagging with the curtain crew of Justin Hanschmidt and Cal Jobert. Up against all three of the Youpers, SK Naba, Iron Montaigne, and Susan St. Marie, who is on a huge hot streak. Uh, she has a MFW title match. I'm sorry, coming her way. And I'm sure that will happen sometime after Mega Mania. In the uh, second match of the evening, Captain Cheese Curd challenges the Caustic Coed Holly Ames for the Master of the Deathmatch title. That will be exploding barbed wire, exploding ring with a 15 minute timer for the Master of the Deathmatch title. Third on the card, we have the Grateful Eight Tag Team Edition Rumble. Uh, last person standings team will earn a Proving Ground match against the Tag Team Champions uh, once again, once we're on the other side of Mega Mania. The tag teams involved are Feet of Fury, Chicago Fire, Animal House, and Lucha Del Norte. Your entry order is as follows. Starting the match will be Sandy Lipner and Luchador Del Lagos. Then coming in at after the first interval will be New Jill. Then Harry Blackstone, so Chicago Fire follow up each other. After that, Kane is fifth, Randy is sixth. So Feet of Fury get to follow each other later on in the match. Number seven is Vic and Lucky Most Grateful. Number eight is Minnesota of Lucha Del Norte. In the fourth match, the tag titles on the line. The Hossman defending against the winners of Tag Team War. Snap Suplex. The Barge and Yuri the Bear Grognoff. In the fifth match of the night, Core Miller defends the MFW Champion Championship against his tag partner, Old Fashioned Benny Brandy. And in the big finale, your main event of the evening, no escape cage match, win by KO or submission only, Ultimo Pinguino and Red Hansen. If Ultimo Pinguino wins, Red Hansen steps down as MFW's lead official. If Red Hansen wins, Ultimo Pinguino becomes his ultimate lackey for six months. There hasn't been a match with higher stakes in MFW. There hasn't been a cage match in MFW yet. So a huge main event to close out the evening. The time for talk is over. Let's get distracted. Let's have let's watch a fun show, goof off, and forget the rest of this crazy world for a while. Jimmy Buffer, your referee. 
and let us head to a jam-packed big stadium arena for MFW Mega Mania. First out, the curtain crew and the king. Curtain crew probably loving the fact that they just got Pyro. The plucky youngsters, the grizzled veteran tree hugger. Out next, the Youpers proudly presenting the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Susan St. Marie leads the charge, Iron and SK behind her. Traditional six-man rules, we're extending the time limits tonight. We want winners. So this is under 45-minute time limit. Fight. SK and Hippie Joe to start here in our opener. Oh, big leg drop from the Hippie. Shoots SK to the ropes. Oh, and just pops her up to drop her. Modified Cabell Naria early, trying to wear down the fire that is SK Naba. Drop toe hold, followed by me. SK tags out to Sweet Susan. Both trying to get their shots in on Hippie Joe. Susan whips him to the ropes. Ducks under twice. Third time, comes off the ropes in just a just a standoff more of the same action this time Susan trying again misses a flying knee Hippie is going to tag into Justin who does look strangely like Fred Hansen hard to believe Justin throwing some basic strikes. Test the strength now. Justin gets a drop to hold. Justin misses with a drop kick. Susan tags in Iron, the big man of the Upers trio. A mighty slam and a claw cover. Justin out quickly. Tags in Cal Joe Bear. Nice. Tag team from the Curtain Crew. Double power bomb executed. Cal trying to work the big man over to the friendly corner, or friendly for him anyway. Off the ropes, drops down. Drops down again, and Cal doesn't follow on that for you any reason. Dumbass. Iron uh, stating his opinion of Cal. The two men duking it out now. Cal puts down Iron but falls down as well. Five minutes gone. Iron shoots Cal off the ropes and almost takes his head off with that lariat. Tags in SK. Cal getting out of there. Ah, yes, Vic. Uh, that uh, that happened earlier in the week. Yeah, I guess the big story in the tag rumble will be does Vic and Animal House kind of continue the road to redemption or does uh, Lucha Del Norte get back in the title picture or and then but then again the other two teams come in right after each other so that's the rumble's gonna be something I mean at bare minimum a match but still double swinging neck breakers SK now working the cravat smart after the neck breakers. 
Oh, the Moonlight going for a cover. 2.9. Cal barely gets there. Hippie Joe going up top. Decides better of it. He was in the Uper's corner. Nah. Yeah, Fred Hansen was a tough little... He's a tough little cowpoke, that's for sure. Justin Hanschmidt now in with Sweet Susan. Hanschmidt in control for a second. Susan going to tag back in the big Iron Mountain. Justin with a face lock and an elbow. Iron stalking. Justin slams the big man. Nice show of strength there from Young Hanschmidt. Iron responds with a slam and a stomp. Just uh, Justin shot to the corner. Iron does not get a chance to follow up, and Justin's going to tag in Cal. Cal and Iron now. Nice snap mare from Jobert. Trying to keep Iron on his side of the ring. Goes for a cover. Only gets one, the big man out easily. And Iron's going to tag in SK Naba. SK. Almost a kidney punch there. Joe Bear, another snap mare. Doesn't follow up. SK misses the low drop kick. Cal sent to the corner of the Upers. SK not quick enough to follow. Cal trying to work back to his corner. Tags Justin back in. He gets a swinging neck breaker. He responds with a body blow. Justin now had SK dazed but did not get a chance to follow. Big Mongolian chop. Silly Mongolians. Oh, a Spanish fly from SK. Beautiful. And they're both going to tag out. Now we got Cal and Susan. Justin wiped up with a high low. Yeah. Yeah. Susan working the strikes. Ooh, dra big dragon screw leg whip there. Oh, now a seated one. Working over those legs of Cal. Trying to keep him grounded. She goes up top. Diving senton. Rolls through. Camel clutch applied. Oh, the other guy's in there to break it up. Hippie and Justin to the rescue. Ah, Vic, perhaps, yes. Keeping low Cal Jobert low. Nah. Well played, uh, well played with the emote, Vic. Keylock, Justin back in to break it up again. All three members of the team in there for a minute. A hot minute, perhaps. Hippie Joe now going to work. Youpers busts that up quickly and easily. Oh! And Susan adds a little splash to Hippie Joe. As a splash to Joe. I guess that's kind of like putting in creamer. Anyway. Quick snack suplex from SK Naba. Back to the key lock. Oh, Youpers going to stand guard now. Oh, and Cal gets spiked. 
SK tags to Iron, but Hippie Joe gets the chance to tag in Justin. <laughs> Hippie Joe eats a power bomb. Okay, baby. Big claw slam from Iron. Goes for the pin too close to the opposite corner. Oh, now they're wearing him out. Hippie Joe hit that big knee. Justin laying in shots here on Iron. Small package from Justin. SK breaks it up. Cal wiped out with a high low. Iron going back to work on Justin. They're throwing hands. Lariat from Iron. Rolling elbow from Justin. He works an arm bar now. SK breaks it up. Susan cut off by Hippie Joe. Oh! Iron just spiked Justin on his head, but again, too close to that opposite corner to try to make a cover there. And again, wrong port part of town for Iron to be trying covers. Double team back suplex takes out Susan. Cal trying to wear down Iron, but he gets away, makes the tag to SK. Jeff Jefferson airplane spin applied by Hippie Joe, but SK breaks it up. They're throwing open hands at each other. Hippie Joe with the Enzigiri. SK with the spinning chop. Hippie Joe, big combo. Flying cutter style maneuver there from uh, SK. Poison Rana. <coughs> Pardon me. I get choked up when I see people get spiked on their heads. Jefferson airplane spin applied once more. Justin now legal. Hippie Joe trying to get in a little damage before he exits. Seemed to be successful. Although SK just dropped Justin quick. Ooh, Cal drops a big elbow on SK before getting out of there. Single leg crab now from Hanschmidt. Oh, and Cal... Cal just claw slammed Iron. Amazing. Deep armbar now on SK. Susan in there to break it up. SK and Justin. Oh, shotgun drop kick from SK. Tags in Susan. Justin still in there. Trying to contain him. Elbow off the ropes. Dropped on Susan. Russian leg sweep from uh, Hanschmidt. Back to the arm. Iron breaks that up quickly. Iron, practically a one man wrecking crew there for a quick sec. Backslide from Justin. Iron breaks it up. Susan says, kiss my booty, and then starts putting the whooping on Hanschmidt. Tags in big Iron. Justin able to get away and tags in the king, who just got crowned with a powerbomb. Snappy back with the uh, combo, though. Decides to show off instead of following up on having Iron stunned. Claw cover again. Wrong side of town again. Almost a half an hour into the opener. Hippie Joe misses the leg drop. Iron a punch to the kidney, but again... 
Orion's got to start paying attention to where he is in the ring. Cal, the legal participant. Iron getting out of there. Tags in Susan yet again. Iron gets a slam in. Cal to the outside. Justin in now. Justin almost got dropped in a bad way. Cal with a quick cover in the middle of the chaos. Susan out at two. Cal tries to work Susan back to the uh, King Crew corner here. Elbow, flying elbow lands in the small of Susan's back. Hippie Joe now tagged in. Cal hits the pile driver. Hippie Joe now tying her up. Oh, and it is over. Hippie Joe just made the contender to the MFW title tap. Now, all the King's men. Vic, I like it. I like it. Binding clutch for the win. 29 minutes, 29 seconds. And that makes the Curtain Crew's first victory in MFW at Mega Mania. That's got to feel good for the young boys. Hello, Senator. Good to see you. Just in time for the mayhem. Well, at least the first bit of the mayhem. It is Master of the Death Match time. And yes, Senator, Hippie, uh, Hippie got Susan St. Marie, of all people, to tap to a binding clutch. Sandy Jenkins, the lucky officiant here. Uh, matches tonight have a 45 minute time limit, except the Grateful Eight Rumble. That we're going to let go unlimited till we have a winner. Alrighty, folks, folks, match two of the six match card. Here we go. Master of the death, death match title at stake. The big church cheese, the caustic co ed. Yeah, Sandy gets the death match, Jimmy gets the cage match. So, uh,. Yeah, they're, they're going to be busy, busy folks this evening. That is for sure. All right. Time to send it to the ring for violence. A bit of the ultraviolence. Master of the Deathmatch title time. First title match out of three. All titles on MFW on the line this evening. Both trying to land strikes early. Holly starts trying to wrestle instead. Test the strength here. Holly gets the takedown, but not able to follow. Another snapmare from Ames. Another takedown from Ames. Captain, big double sledge. 
Little quick jab, misses the big overhand, lands an uppercut. Nobody going into the wire yet. Ah, fair, fair Vic. You know, I, I, the, the thing the thing I think I like about Holly's story is who is it really going to be? Who is finally going to be the one to knock her off her perch? And I, you know, after that quick victory by Iron in the Proving Ground match, I thought maybe he was our boy, but then it came down to having to do it quote unquote for real Holly blocks the punch throws him in an arm bar Kurt out quickly but yeah when it came down to go time then Holly just took it to him so Kurt kicks Ames off Ames face lock quick knee Kurt smart to keep trying to kick her off because uh, Holly Holly very well versed in submissions, or she'll just start ground and pound till it can't be uh, till it can't be withstood anymore. Captain, kind of a cocky cover, only gets one. Kurt landed some shots. Nobody has gone into the barbed wire as of yet. Nobody's grabbed a weapon as of yet as well. Kurt drops all that booty. Game's out at one. Rapid fire punches from the big cheese. Deadlift German from Holly. Amazing. High angle crab now. Holly also known to use this move. But Kurd's got all that weight behind it, all that mass. And then again, going back to the high angle crab. Big suplex from Holly, goes for a cover. No count at all. Oh, Kurd is the first into the barbed wire. He's busted open, and now Holly raining knees. Tough it, Buster Rack from the captain. Holly gets out of there. Captain with the big knee now. Now he's got her in the uh, the the. The prison huggle struggle. Oh, now just a hanging choke. Sandy checking on her. Holly hanging in. The captain's starting to take a little wind here. Oh, headbutts to the back of the head. Unreal. The lengths that Ames will go to. Although we should not be surprised. Captain looking a mess. Oh, he gets a couple big shots in. Oh, uppercut to the back of the head. Throws all that weight on Holly. Holly misses the takedown. Lands the belly to belly though. Now raining knees again to the busted up captain. Very true, Mrs. Tiki God. Oh! Package driver from the captain. 2-9. Back to the hanging choke. Holly not looking very lively up there. But she survives. Captain sucking wind badly. Cutter from the captain. A curd cutter, if you will. Big exploder from Holly. Goes for cover. 
Captain kicks out at two. Holly sucking some wind too. Oh, huge German from the captain. I swore it was Yuri the Bear in there. Holly now another curd cutter. Counters the back grapple. Grapple deadlift German from the captain as well. Both slowing down. Another German from the captain. We're only three minutes from the clat from the ring timer going off. Exploding ring set for 15 minutes. Holly landing shots now. Captain slow to get up. Big power bomb from the captain. Holly out at two. Oh, and the cur captain into the ropes yet again. Holly now with the high angle crab. Less than two minutes before the ring explodes. Quite the exchange there. Only a minute now remaining. The klaxon should be sounding in about 45 seconds. Holly, Cardinal Rule STF applied. Captain works his way out. Forearm shot. Captain with rapid fire punches. Drops a headbutt. There goes the ring. Oh, please tell me somebody's going to respond. No! No! Our first double KO. In a Master of the Death Match title. Oh, geez. Well. Ah, darn it. Well, the captain will definitely have a rematch coming down the line. And it may be where... Uh, where the ring timer gets set back a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, they were tearing into each other. And, yeah, no survivors, Vic. That is true. So, give me one quick sec, a uh, couple quick seconds to hydrate here. And then... Alrighty, folks. Now we are going to go to the Grateful Eight Rumble Tag Team Edition. The members of four teams will enter the Rumble. The four teams that are in are Chicago Fire Feet of Fury Animal House and Lucha Del Norte time to put our folks in in order Ah, shucks, I'm trying to see if I've got this right. Uh, no, I think I want the timed. Yeah, I want the timed with the intervals, okay. Sorry, trying to remember how to set this up here. All right.
Animal House will be in there. Things got serious attire. Sandy, the Rad Panda, and Luchador, Luchador del Lagos will be our starting pair. go on a three minute interval uh, pin submission or over the top rope yeah we will leave this on unlimited turn them rope, rope breaks off Alrighty, Sandy Lipner and Luchador Del Lagos to start. New Jill in after that. Then her tag partner, Harry Blackstone. Kane, Randy Goodneighbor, also tag partners right in after another. Sandy does not get any help until Victor Hinks at 7 and Minnesota in at 8. Lucky, grateful 8. So, Jimmy Buffer gets to try to call this chaos. Uh, the winner, their team will receive a proving ground match at a later date, as has been the uh, prize in the first iteration of the Rumble. So, let us move it to the ring for some action. And just a reminder, folks, this is a extra-large edition of MFW TV. It will not be the normal hour-ish, as this is only the third match on a six-match card. Fight. So we will be going longer than the usual tonight. Sandy and Luchador Del Lagos to start, representing Animal House and Lucha Del Norte, respectively. The Rad Panda throwing in strikes. Nice arm drag from LDL, the Luchador de Lagos. Oh. Sandy humming as she just smacks him right across the face. Ooh. Deep spine kick from the Rad Panda. Gord Buster is the reply from Luchador de Lagos. Both missed their strikes there. Sandy with an arm drag now. Scorpion Deathlock from Sandy. Trying to start that wear down of the spry luchador. Wear him down to whether he can be thrown over the ropes or gain a fall or submission on him. Big drop kick lands for LDL. Sandy stops another with a couple of strikes. Because it looked like he was uh, trying to get set to drop kick her yet again. Oh, double stop from LDL. Ooh. Swings the leg through on the DDT. New Jill coming out next. Competitor number three. Patiently biding her time, then goes for the cover on LDL. Oh, and there's the first shot to the yam bag of the evening. LDL and Sandy double teaming New Jill, probably smart. Sandy, big slam.
Kind of a hip throw there on Sandy by LDL. Dropkick got blocked, though. Cutter from Sandy on New Jill. Rapid fire punches drop Sandy. LDL sent to the ropes, but no real follow up on that. Swing through arm drag from LDL. New Jill just throwing punches, doing her thing. Oh, and a big eye poke. A play from the Mance Warner playbook. The eye poke god. Harry. Coming out to now assist New Jill, assumedly. Oh! Sandy threw. I don't know if that counts as an elimination or not. Slipping through from the suplex. Harry puts a suplex on New Jill. I don't think the tag teams know enough to work together. Sandy sandwiched between a couple of clotheslines. Rolling soul butt makes the mark on New Jill. LDL has Harry in a Muda lock sh for a short period of time. Oh, big super kick. Harry to uh, New Jill. Nah. All right, Mrs. Tiki God. I see that you have uh, turned in your channel points. All right, we will talk to you about that at a later point and time. No one eliminated yet. Kane coming out now, representing Feet of Fury. He seemed to be happy just to watch Chicago Fire beat up on each other. Harry with the big uh, clothesline. Kane and LDL now. LDL snap suplex lands. Harry hitting everything that moves. A big panda cutter on LDL. Harry follows by splashing Sandy. Oh, New Jill's got the sickle out, carving up on Kane. Cluster in the corner now. LDL eliminated by New Jill, I believe. Sandy dropped with a trick leg from New Jill. Harry misses with throwing fire. New Jill just hit a clam jam on the poor rad panda. Oh, big penalty kick from Kane. Sandy up top, shooting star and a cover. New Jill kicks out at two. Randy, good neighbor. Oh, Sandy. Randy interrupted the beatdown on New Jill by the Rad Panda. She was starting to go rabid panda. Oh! New Jill goes low on Sandy again. Sandy tried to roll up Randy. Flatliner lands on New Jill. And the Rad Panda is gone. So that leaves Lucha Del Norte and Animal House with only one chance. Flying Squirrel Victor Hinks will be in next. Minnesota, the lucky one, coming in last. Feet of Fury and Chicago Fire now whooping on each other. Big kick combo from Kane. 
Oh, low blow hits Randy. Low blow hits Kane. Surprise, it's New Jill, Queen of the Streets. Oh, and another. Victor Hinks now. Out in business attire, and he is going to definitely have to mean business. Grabs a bat right away. Coming into the ring. Smart. New Jill gone. Ooh, German and a bridge on Kane now. Randy there to break it up. Drop kick to Harry. Hinks a house of fire coming in. Vic is smartly picking his spots so far. Harry almost thrown out, hangs on. Oh, Hicks throws him out though. Blackstone gone, nobody from Chicago Fire left. And by all means, Hicks, watch Feet of Fury beat up on each other. For sure. All right, in about half a minute, Minnesota will be coming out and that will be all contenders. Only a one count on uh, Good Neighbor there. Moonsault and a pin. Kane not breaking it up though. Only a one count again. Minnesota in now. Everyone in the pool. Figure eight applied to Kane. And Good Neighbor actually breaks it up. Mini throws him in a figure four. Ooh, short, uh, short shin kicks to uh, Hinks there. Ah, uh, looks like a few more people in the uh, in the stream. Hello, this is MFW Mega Mania Midwest Fire Wrestling. A big pay-per-view event after six months of weekly episodes. <laughs> of Fire Pro E-Fed goodness. This is the uh, last four competitors in the Grateful Eight Tag Team Rumble. Winners of the match receive a proving ground match against the tag champs at a later date. Both members of Feet of Fury still in there. Victor Hinks representing Animal House. Minnesota representing Lucha Del Norte. Jackknife pin, Randy breaks it up. Super kick lands on Good Neighbor. Kane with the cover. Almost did uh, Mini and Vic a huge solid there. Mini roll up cover broken up. Hinks and Mini uh, square off now. Kane and Randy. Randy deciding not to work together. Mini with the figure four on Hinks now. He was out quickly. Oh, double stop from Randy misses. Big leg sweep lands on Kane. Mini and Hinks du duking it out. Ooh, dr Snapdragon suplex from Kane. Mini with the figure four again. Hinks out again. Uh, Muda lock now from Mini. Hinks works his way out again. Deadlift German from Kane. Oh, almost pinned Randy. Randy gone. Hinks eliminates another. One each from three teams remaining now. Vic breaks up the cover. High low lands on Minnesota. Hinks, ooh! Nasty backbreaker on Kane. Hinks just whooping on both of them. Tries to get the pin on Mini with Kane down. Smart. Only gets one, though. 
Kane wrenching the headlock on Mini. Kane breaks it up. Jackknife pin. Only a one on Mini. Mini shot to the ropes. Bumps into Hinks. Grabs him. Octopus stretch. Oh, big straight right drops Kane. Hinks camel clutch on Kane now. Minnie looks like she's going to let it happen. Kane works his way out. Uppercut drops him. Big kick combo drops Minnie. Sandwich insecurities from Kane and Victor on Minnie. Takes Kane out of the pin. Goes for a figure eight. Kane breaks it up. Pardon me, folks. High low lands on Minnesota. Ooh, big rising show tie and a kick. Drops Vic. Deadlift German with a bridge from Kane. Only two. All three just working over each other. It's definitely devolved into a three-way dance style uh situation Vic actually kind of gifted a breather there in the corner oh Kane fights them both off mini shot to the corner now Kane follows throws into the corner copple kick but Hinks with a uh, with a shooting star pin oh Vic hits Kane with his old kick combo, and now he's going to go for the finish on Mini. Oh, Kane busts up the space squirrel elbow drop. <laughs> Shooting star interrupted, then not. Only a two now on Mini. Yeah, that was, yeah, Senator, that was a goof. Oh, Minnie tried to throw out Kane. Didn't happen. Oh, kicks straight through Minnie. Giant swing now from Kane. Victor busts it up. Heads up top. Drops the elbow on Kane. Kane just throws Minnie out. It is down to a rep from Feet of Fury and Animal House. Victor Hinks, Kane, just throwing down. Oh no! Is this not over? That was not an over the top elimination or do we need a pin or submission for an ending? I am confused. They are just whooping on each other on the outside here. Oh, Hinks with a kendo stick. Ah, okay. I got you, Senator. Ooh, ugly German on the floor, but Hinks is up, ready to fight some more. Huge overhand chops from Kane. And this has just devolved into a war. Ah, right you are. Right you are, Senator. Just a no holds barred throwdown on the floor. Hinks with a chair now. I'm assuming Jimmy's gonna make him drop it, yes. 
Oh, straight right drops Kane. Body splash. Camel clutch now. Oh, and it is over. Victor Hinks. The comeback is real. Animal House will get a proving ground match against whoever the tag team title holders are after Mega Mania. Wow, insane. All right. So, on to more title matches. Speaking of the tag team titles, they are up for grabs next. The absolutely hot on a rampage. New team of Snap Suplex. Yuri the Bear and the Barge take on the MFW Tag Team Champions of the Hossmen, Dick Tiki and Big Buck Hunter. Okay, good. That all looks solid. All right. Midwest Fire Wrestling Tag Team titles on the line. A big bunch of beef hitting the ring. Or as WWE superstar Big E said on New Day's podcast, his favorite kind of match, big meaty men slapping meat. That's what he wants to see. And by golly, if that's what Florida man Big E Langston wants, that is good enough for me. Tag titles on the line next. Coming out first, the challengers, winners of the Tag Team War event. Yuri the Bear, Grognoff, and The Barge. They are known as Snap Suplex. Dick Tiki, Big Buck Hunter, the Hossmen, your MFW tag champs hitting the ring. Sandy Jenkins, your ref in this one. Fight. 45 minute time limit again. Buck winning the test of strength. Drops knees on the back of the barge. Barge just throws him down. Big sledge from Buck. Barge grabs an ankle. Now a trip. Barge ties him up, rolls him up. No count administered by Sandy. Buck's gonna tag in Dick Tiki. Oh. 
Headbutt delivered. Standing Scorpion now from Dick Tiki. Trying to slow down the barge early. It's kind of interesting that Tiki is working all these submissions early in the match as well, considering he is up, he's in there with a submissions master to be sure. Now, the bear in there, he is the legal participant. Oh, Tiki misses a, a cutter attempt. Yuri trying to land strikes, throws Tiki to the ropes. Throws him in the corner, but does not follow up. Tiki takes Yuri to the corner, same. Tiki tags in Buck Hunter. Oh, Tiki tries to get in a little choke sleeper before he has to exit the ring. Buck misses a couple kicks. Yuri tags the barge back in. Buck just got a quick headbutt in there, but he's going to take Tiki back in. Barge sends Hunter to the ropes. Tiki sends Barge to the corner. Barge getting some shots in. Oh, back body dropped and slid out of the ring. Tiki grabbing a bit of hardware to bring in with him. Oh, gets a chair shot in on the barge. Drops the chair before Sandy finishes the count. Oh, powerbomb neckbreaker combo and it, Tiki might have landed on that chair. Victim of a implement brought in by himself. Standing Scorpion now on Yuri. Doesn't last long. Tiki back, body drops out of the suplex attempt. Now just some ground and pound. Good old fashioned fisticuffs. Dick tags in Buck. Buck breaks up the suplex attempt. I'm sure Dick Tiki is thankful. Stretch Muffler now from Buck Hunter. And Yuri's gonna get out of there. Tags in the barge. Buck fighting them both off. Nah. <laughs> Vic. Nice. Buck off the ropes. Big boot. Barge up quickly though. And somebody's busted open. I'm not 100% positive who. I think it's the barge, though. Yes, it is. Barge sent to his corner. Buck not able to follow up. Short arm clothesline lands on Buck Hunter. Kicks off the barge. Shoulder block takes the big man down. Then again, I guess we're all big men. I guess they're all big men in this one. Ha, the Mark Hunt defense. Smashing machine. The Shah of MFW throwing a lariat. Tiki and Yuri now, your legal participants. Oh, Tiki goes for a ride. Big, uh... Big double arm suplex. Now he's in a figure four from the barge. Barge not legal though. Yuri sends Tiki to the ropes, drops down, comes off the ropes, and they just collide. Big forearm lands. Deadlift German. But Tiki up quickly, tags in Buck. Magic killer from the horseman lands. Tiki drops an elbow for a good measure. Buck lands the pile driver on Yuri, stuffed him. Oh, 2 9. 
Barge slow to break it up. Barge thrown to the outside. Yeah. Ooh, capture suplex from Yuri. Strike exchange now between the bear and the big buck hunter. Buck gets the best of it, both down for a second. Misses a couple shoulder blocks. Yuri able to tag in the barge. Stuff pile driver in the Hosman corner of all things. Dick Tiki up, drops knees straight to the guts of the barge. Barge gets a trip and a leg bar on Buck. Buck not legal man though, Tiki is. Tiki lands knees to the guts again. Oh, Tiki let him get some distance. Yuri tagged in now. Reversal on the whip by Yuri. Big straight punch drops Tiki. Quick drop elbow from the bear. Nightmare pendulum from Tiki. Discus lariat lands. Yuri with a quick gut shot. Tiki misses the cutter attempt. Yuri off the ropes, drops another quick elbow. Tiki tagging in Hunter. Yuri putting the boots and fists to both of them. Buck goes for a ride. Couple frequent flyer miles on that release German from Yuri. Shoulder block takes the bear down. Buck just kind of grinds you. Gets in his shots, wears you down. Big backs, big Saito suplex from Yuri. Drops Buck Tiki in, but Yuri able to tag. Barge and Tiki legal. Yuri gets knees in the guts again, and maybe again, and again. Well, misses a cutter again. Barge just tosses him out to the floor. Yuri gonna go get him some. Tiki is armed with a barbed wire bat, or was. Now we just have chaos. Dick Tiki trying to get back in the ring. Uh-oh. Yuri hitting for my people out on the floor. Tiki actually up fairly quickly, but what kind of shape is he in? Oh, good enough shape to drop the barge with a punch. What kind of, uh, gosh, what kind of machine is this Tiki? That's insane. Tagged in Buck Hunter. He's going to drop another pair of knees or try. Missed. Hunter going for the cover, though. Only a two. Gut run suplex from Yuri on the Tiki. Yuri gets a quick splash in. Barge in the midst of the spin Rooney. Tags the bear back in. Catches Buck in a leg bar quick though before his exit from the ring. Yuri and Buck now. I think Buck's gonna try to tag out. Tags in the Tiki. I'm not sure how bright that is with the way Yuri was throwing around Dick. Oh, Manhattan drop. And then just slaps him in the face. Tiki now. Hangs Yuri to the tree of Joey Lawrence. Lays in some hands. Dick Tiki. Tiki's torch. Burning hammer. Yuri lands on the outside. Buck tries to go after him. Oh, Tiger suplex on the floor by Yuri. Buck drilled, tossed to the barricade, Yuri back in, exploder to Tiki, 
Yuri on his usual suplex rampage. Both tag out, Barge and Buck now. Everyone's in the pool. Barge and Buck are the legal men. Barge with the trip, transitions, heel hook. It's over. Heel hook out of the blue. A beaten and bloodied Barge gets Buck Hunter to tap. And ladies and gentlemen, new tag team champions still undefeated in the tag ranks. Snap suplex. All right, so on to our third title match of the evening. New champions crowned. Alrighty, folks, now on to our MFW Champion Champion title match. And uh, how we got here is kind of a strange little story, but lo and behold, tag, tag team partners who hadn't had much luck as a tag team, all of a sudden, over the course of about a month, now find themselves fighting for the main singles title in MFW. Milwaukee's Beast Core Miller defending against old fashioned Benny Brandy, who already has two victories over the champion in singles competition. Jimmy Buffer gonna officiate this one. All right. Here we go. MFW title match on now. Two of Milwaukee's favorite sons duking it out. The dapper and fashionable Betty Brandy on his way to the ring. is his third singles match against Core Miller the Charm. Can he become MFW champion? Milwaukee's Beast probably has something to say about it. MFW champion champion, Core Miller. Master of the... Uh, Maybe it should be called the sandworm because it kind of makes a, a tremor, an earthquake. And it's heard from miles around. Oh, no. oh, big straight off the gates. Drops core. Benny hot out the gate. Core trying to slow him down. Oh, big open hand drops the beast. Another stuns him. Core trying to give Benny a taste oh, of his old no. medicine. Both men missing straight rights. Elbow butt there from uh, Core. Big slam. One of one of Benny's three or four wrestling moves that he knows. Core wins the te test of strength. Not surprisingly. Oh, he lands his straight right off the ropes. Benny caught him with a quicken. And another body slam from Benny. Snapmare from Core. Oh, he's going for the sandworm early. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and the earth shook. Oh, overhand rights, and Benny's busted open early. Cord, double arm trap, suplex lands. Benny shot to the ropes. Another straight right from Core. Kind of giving Benny a taste of his own medicine there. Flying cross chop from the big man. Crazy agile for his size. <laughs> Benny off the ropes. Oh, misses the show tie. And now they are just brawling. Unsurprising. I believe that if Cora wins, he thinks he can get rid of Benny once and for all. And if Benny wins, Cora will never ever hear the end of it. Splash from Benny. Core now with a gourd buster. Camel clutch applied. Core has won matches with that. Core shot to the corner. Benny not able to follow up. Another big slam from Brandy. And some more ground and pound. Go with what brought you to the dance, I say. Big slap and a forearm from Benny. Folds him up. Only a one. Core throws Benny to the outside. Oh, geez, Mrs. Tiki God. Reverse figure four down on the floor now. Core is down with the extracurricular activity this evening. Another cross chop. Oh, quick rumble elbows from Benny, and he's going to try a quick cover. Only one. Reverses. And suplexes Brandy. Now the big hip attack. And there's a whole lot of core behind that uh, hip attack. Pump kick one missed. Pump kick two did not for the beast. Big overhand. Oh, and then just a deep gut punch and a cover now. Two nine. Brandy barely out. Shoots core to the ropes. Big overhand lands. Fist drop. Feel the power. Oh, spiral bomb from core. Benny kicks him off, though, trying to buy a little time and distance. Another hip attack sends him down. Benny shoots core off the ropes. Straight right lands. Benny drops a knee. Core shoots Benny to the corner. Core up top, moonsault, double stomp, lands. Double, triplicate. Sends Benny to the other corner. Props him up top. Oh, Benny elbows him away, drops a fist. Core sent to the ropes. Benny drops down and then peppers him. Core kicks him away this time. Campania, a rocking horse submission. Just tosses Benny down. Oh, hits him again with that big, like, liver shot. Both men slowing down a little, but they did start at a fairly advanced pace. Core is going to try again. Top rope poison Rana from the big man. Oh. 
Hardcore reverses the whip. Another straight punch. Oh, ben Benny goes to the eyes. I believe he's starting to get a little desperate. Corey has landed some damage. Back to throwing hands. Inziguri lands, but oh, Benny with a roaring elbow. Both down, Core up first, sucking wind. Core thrown to the outside by Benny. Benny not going to follow up. He's going to take the chance for a breather. Take the, uh, the opportunity for a breather. Bulldog from Benny. Follows by dropping a fist. Going for the trifecta and lands. Spiral bomb again from Core Miller. Now following up with the sandworm. Squa. Squa it. Squa in the, big, in the giblets. Oh, drops the big chop. Benny fights out. Jackknife cover. Oh my god! Out of nowhere. Seemingly down and out. And we have our si ourselves a new MFW champion champion. Benny Brandy. Guy, I'm I'm quite surprised. That finish seemed kind of out of nowhere. But uh, by golly, third time the charm. Benny Brandy, now your MFW champion champion. And I'm, I'm going to guess that there's some MFW fans out there that would say cheers to that. Alrighty, folks. Main event time. A strange and unfortunate, maybe, not maybe, series of events have brought us to this. Pretty much fighting to set the new direction or set set the new course for MFW in the month, months ahead. Red Hansen made a deal with someone who is evil indeed. Ultimate Pinguino and Ultimate Pinguino pretty much said. This is way too much evil for MFW. One of us has got to go. And uh, I am I am the uh, the top of the food chain as far as far as it pertains to rough and tumble evil beings. So if Ultimo Pinguino wins, Red Hansen steps down as MFW lead official and someone else will probably take his place. How soon? I have no idea. Um, if Red Hansen wins, he gets the ultimate right-hand person. Uh, ultimate Pinguino becomes his lackey and his, uh, his pretty much enforcer and mercenary of how he sees things or how he, how he wants to fix things in MFW and stays lead, lead official of the league. So hang on just a quick sec. Oh, sorry, this throat is getting trashed and I don't care. I am having a wonderful time here with you all tonight on MFW Mega Mania. Here is our main event. Inside the confines of a steel cage, there is not an escape rule. It will be knockout or submission only.
One fall to a finish. A few new championship opportunities on the horizon. Animal House punched their ticket for new tag champ snap suplex. Susan St. Marie waiting in the rings for Benny Brandy, new MFW champion champion. And a very good chance that Captain Cheese Curd will get a rematch after that double KO finish in the Master of the Deathmatch title match earlier in the evening. So without further ado, I present your main event of MFW Mega Mania. Off the ropes, Pinguino drops down and they collide. Oh, Pinguino showing Red Hansen what she thinks of him off the bat. Just an open hand slap to the face. And again, no one no one getting an advantage off the uh, off the ropes there. Pinguino laying in shots. Elbows, open hands, and chops. Oh, shoulder breaker early. Lands. And you keeps fuck. just slapping Hansen across the face. And Penguin bowls through. Pinguino bowls through Hansen there. Oh, shot to the chest. Spinning chop. Hansen trying to get shots in. Not many of them landing. Big body slam there. Another slam. Pinguino again just taking out all her frustration on Hansen. Open hand shots of plenty. Nice short arm clothesline there from Ultimo. Hansen sends her off the ropes. Drops down a couple times. Manhattan drop and a big in. Hansen with another slam. Punches met by chops. The furious flippers of Ultimo Pinguino at work yet again. You punk. Hansen a quick jab. Pinguino. Tombstone reversed by Ultimo Pinguino. Drops Hansen you on his punk. melon. Hansen again attempts. Pinguino rapid fire chops. Drops another one. Drops another one. Flying clothesline off the ropes. Oh, trick leg from Hansen. You punk. Then again, we have learned that Red Hansen is a man of question with the slam. You punk, he misses you punk. a clothesline. You punk. Set of forearms, set of punches, a kick. Any kind of strikes he can try to get in there. Hansen's doing. Hansen's throwing them. Pinguino stretching out that arm. Oh, bummer, Mrs. Tiki God. Pinguino with another rope walk and chop. Diving chop. French flipper lands. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Tiki God. And man, I am sorry if my connection's taking a crap. I that that's that's a bummer I'm so sorry you punk.
Short arm clothesline from Red this time. Oh, and a bunch of chops from Pinguino. Drags him out to the center of the ring. Lays in another chop. Pinguino starting to slow down a little. And again, Tombstone reversed by Ultimo Pinguino. Oh no, package tombstone from Red. Pinguino up top waiting. Huge overhead chop to the head. Hansen shoots Pinguino off the ropes. Big Lariat. With a name like Hansen, you have to throw a big Lariat. Now ground and pound to the back of the head. Buffer checking on Pinguino. Hansen now. Psycho Driver. Lands now ground and pound after landing the Psycho Driver. I'm going to assume Hansen's going to keep working over that back after landing the Psycho Driver Vertebraker. Oh, exchange of discus lariats both down. Hansen now just going back to ground and pound. I think he really wants a ground and pound submission victory. I think he wants to try to get a victory that asserts dominance. Big backbreaker from Hansen. Ultimo Pinguino, French Flipper lands again. And she is not able to follow up on it. Oh! Full flip bump off the Lariat. Come on. Oh! Big series of chops. Ultima waiting. Oh, huge rushing clothesline. You fuck. Big overhead chop beatdown of Hansen. Trying to lay him in at the base of his neck. Misses with a lariat. French flipper again. And again, Ultimo slow to follow up, but able to this time. Drags Hansen more towards the center of the ring. He picks an ankle. He comes off the ropes. Oh, big leg drop. Series of European uppercuts. Pinguino shoots him to the corner. Elbow lands. Hansen able to trip her up. He lays in a knee. Oh! Tiger Driver following up with ground and pound again. It's like he hits a huge driver and then just goes to ground and pound. Penguin, Pinguino hanging in there. She is taking a lot of punishment right now. Oh! Yeah, Pinguino's busted way open. That was just far too many shots to sit there and take. Arm breaker, oh my god! After that crazy beatdown, Armbreaker out of nowhere.
And Hansen gives it up. Hansen gives it up. So, evil indeed, but maybe, maybe the history books will write that she ended up being the savior of MFW, because I don't think Red Hansen was any better. I really don't. Good Lord, what a crazy, what a crazy finish to what I think was a great night of action. A lot of fun. Some surprises. Again, a bunch of great action. Uh, I appreciate everybody who watched tonight. Everybody who stopped in. Uh, love y'all. You make it worthwhile. And uh, with that being said, um, yeah, no problem, Senator. It's uh, it's my pleasure for sure. I uh, I really enjoy doing it, but um, I'm also going to announce that I am going to take a break from MFW and from Twitch for probably at least two weeks, maybe slightly longer. Um. I would say to people watching who enjoy the content either on Thursday nights or the other nights of this nights of the week that I stream Sunday and Tuesday to uh, be patient uh, let me let me catch my breath let me uh, let me feel a little better uh, physically and mentally. I've got I've got some health stuff that I'm working through so and uh, now with all these changes I definitely need a week or two to think of story stuff for MFW <laughs> at a bare minimum so I would say expect me back uh, late March early April uh, we'll definitely keep all the socials updated as to when I plan on being back and getting some content out there so again many thanks uh heck of a night of action i hope i was a break uh, uh a place to come up for air for a little bit in an increasingly crazy world so uh with all that being said thank you so much this was Midwest Fire Wrestling's Mega Mania. Good night. Take care. Old school, old fool. Signing off.